What's going on guys? We're getting ready to shoot Red Top episode, I think 13. Gotta be buzzed in. Kim, wait, say hi Kim. Hi. Thank you very much, you buzz me in? Awesome. Okay, so today we are going to talk about one particular situation within Red Top Report, or within Resistance, and it's this picture, actually, right here. You see this picture? This is what we're gonna talk about. There's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven total people for a resistance initiative. Not a lot, right? Well, we'll see. Hello everyone, welcome back to Red Top Report. As I mentioned before our intro, I wanna talk about this picture. Check out this picture. It's a picture of a bold few. Well, why were they there? I'll tell you why they're there. They were there because they said they were going to be there. And because they were there, that's why they went. No. Because... They were there to pray in memoriam for All Saints Day and for the church that once stood on that dust. All Saints Catholic Church, which was sold by the Archdiocese of Detroit, I think last year, maybe two years ago. But really, let's pull up this image one more time. What a picture. I truly think it's an art piece depicting the battle waged by the remnant few who have the faith of an army of 10,000 men. In the Revolutionary War, for example, historically speaking, less than 3% of Americans fought in George Washington's army. For comparison, 11% of Americans fought in World War II, nearly four times the number. When you're just looking at the percentage and ignoring the growth of population from the 1700s to the 20th century. And here, this image that we're talking about is a picture of just seven people. Seven people in a world of millions of Catholics is really only a fraction of a fraction of a fraction of a percentage point. But it's still necessary because the heroes that we've talked about a few episodes back, remember that? I said we were looking for heroes. I think it was, I think it was episode four. Well, the heroes we were talking about are the ones willing to bring witness when no one else is looking. No massive crowds, no major publicity, not even a press release. That's true heroism. Of course, just like anything, nationally accredited, nationally accredited heroic work only, only comes to fruition because it was built upon thousands, 10,000 small works of heroism that are known to only a few people. Real heroism is wanting to fight for the sake of saving those you love. And Catholic her heroism, therefore, is fighting for those loved by the one we ought to love most, our beloved creator, our Lord Jesus Christ. For if we love him, we then love what he loves or who he loves, and that is all people. Now, how does this love play out? Simply put, when it's purified, that love is doing your absolute best to ensure the salvation of all you know and encounter. What takes that precious metal, for you know, an example, what takes that precious metal in its purest form and then dilutes it into a million different compounds is actually just one simple question. And that's how, how do you ensure all you do is in perfect align with the will of God? How do you know what you're doing is properly ordered to what God is asking of you to do in his salvific plan for your, not only yourself, but for all of mankind? Well, that's a difficult question to answer, but it can be answered by pointing to the supplements offered to you by the Catholic church to stay close to God and grow ever closer to him. And that's, of course, the sacraments, the Holy Rosary, tradition, 2,000 years of writing, spiritual practices by great saints, in short, the magisterium. In short, all of these things point, point us to one necessity, grace, grace. You can only be receptive of this grace, though, which is like an elixir. It superpowers you. It transforms you. It purifies you to be the hero we are looking for. And you can only be receptive of that grace if you are in a state of sanctifying grace. If you kicked to the curb all the mortal sin, cohabitation, masturbation, porn, purposeful excess drinking, drugs, taking the Lord's name in vain when you know you shouldn't, skipping mass on Sunday. And if you are doing any of the mentioned, you can't escape it. There is a way. And that way is the sacrament of confession, which was instituted by Jesus Christ and allows you to constantly run to an infinite spring of grace so that one day you become a wellspring of that grace yourself. So the call to action here is to go to confession and maintain that state of grace and to fight in private. Don't always keep in the public eye. 
True heroes, true heroes fight like Batman in secret when no one can see you. And sometimes that's on the dusty streets of industrial Detroit. So if you liked this video, of course, we ask you to subscribe, like, comment, send to your friends, follow us on Instagram, Twitter, TikTok, at Red Top Report. And of course, we'll catch you next time on Red Top Report. Running, running, check it.